ever get that feeling? Like, your brain's a sports car. Okay. But it's stuck in, like, rush hour traffic. Yeah. That's kind of what we're diving into today, that whole thing where your thoughts are zooming ahead. Yeah. But your fingers, on the keyboard at least, just... Can't keep up. Can't keep up. <laughs> you said this Reddit thread over from RADHD all about mixing up letters while writing. Mm. And I got to say, it's way more relatable than I expected. Oh, it's definitely a common experience for sure. Right. What I thought was interesting was how the original poster put it like, they weren't even sure if this was weird or not. Yeah. Which kind of tells you it might be happening to a lot of people. Totally. And then they gave that perfect example, trying to type, what was it, mile long hike? Mike Long Heil. Yes. <laughs> but coming out all jumbled, it's those little brain hiccups, you yeah. know. Makes you wonder what's going on up there. Absolutely. And speaking of brains, that ADHD connection came up a ton in the thread. Oh, yeah. So many people were like, yep, that's my brain, faster than my hands can handle. It's like that image, right? The dog walker who's basically getting dragged along right. by their overenthusiastic pup. Except it's our brains dragging our poor fingers. Exactly. And someone even said their occupational therapist they were working with actually attributed their letter mixing to this. Really? Yeah. Like the brain literally outpacing the body. That makes me think of the inattentive part of ADHD, but not in the way people usually mean it. Okay. How so? Not that someone's not paying attention, but more like their attention is that spotlight darting all over. Right, right. While our bodies are stuck as those old overhead projectors trying to follow along. That's a great analogy. Yeah. It kind of ties into what some others were saying, too, that this isn't so much about misunderstanding the letters themselves, like you might see with dyslexia. Right. It's more about the doing part, the getting it out there part. The execution, yeah. Exactly. And there was one commenter, they said they had both ADHD and dyslexia. Oh, interesting. And they made a point of saying dyslexia for them, that was more about letter order, reading mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. But this fast brain thing, it was speed coordination. It's a different beast, yeah. Totally. And, you know, that actually reminded me of this study I saw where they found folks with ADHD might actually make fewer errors. Fewer? When they're handwriting compared to typing. Wait, seriously? Yeah. I'd think handwriting would be slower, so more mistakes. Right. That's what's so interesting. What's the catch? Researchers figured that slower pace forces a different kind of attention. I see. Like your spotlight analogy, it has to stay put on each letter just a bit longer, gives the brain time to catch up. Okay, that makes sense. But you know what this whole thing makes me think of? All those hilarious autocorrect fails. Oh, yeah, those are good. Except here, our brains are the ones doing the auto failing. I'm with you. Some of those examples in the thread were golden. Weren't they? <laughs> One person accidentally wrote, get this, whore instead of who are oh no in a religious education class i can only imagine the teacher's face right it just shows you brains work in mysterious and often hilarious ways they really do it's like our internal dictionary is on shuffle and our fingers are just scrambling to keep up with the playlist i like that and you know that actually makes me think of spoonerisms have you heard of those Ooh, you know i love a good linguistics bit for our listeners who might not know what are they so a spoonerism is when you accidentally swap sounds or syllables in words. Like instead of you missed my history lecture, it yeah. comes out you hissed my mystery lecture. Classic. That slip of the tongue. Which I feel like we've all done at some point. Oh, for sure. But how's it connect to our whole jumbled letters situation? Well, they think spoonerisms happen because our brains, they process language in stages. Okay. And sometimes those stages, they get a little out of sync. I so I'm wondering... Is something similar going on with this letter mixing? Maybe it's not just speed, but also h how our brains are putting the words together and then actually doing the writing. So it's not just our poor fingers lagging behind. Right. There's this whole symphony of brain stuff going on. Exactly. Which I think is so cool. The more we look at these simple things we all experience, yeah. the more we learn about just how complex our brains really are. All right. Well, on that note, let's hit the gas on this conversation. Okay. And get into some more of those stories from the thread. Sounds good. Because one thing that really struck me was how many different ways this brain faster than fingers thing actually shows up. Different ways. Like one person even said they had this stutter mode. Hmm. Stutter mode. But for writing, mm. where they're trying to get the words out, but their thoughts are outrunning them. Interesting. It's almost like their internal monologue is on fast forward. Right. But their speech is stuck trying to catch up, and it keeps skipping frames. Yeah, exactly. Makes you wonder, if this is happening with writing and speaking, could it be a bigger disconnect between 
thought and, well, output in general? Ooh, that's a good question. And it makes me think, are we being too hard on our fingers and our tongues? How so? Like, maybe they need a break. We got to acknowledge they're working for some pretty demanding bosses up in the brain department. Right. Maybe this is why it's so important to talk about neurodiversity. Oh, yeah. Because there's no one right way for brains to work. And what's a struggle for one person Mm -hmm. might be totally linked to their strengths. Absolutely. So maybe it's less about fixing these brain hiccups. Yeah. And more about figuring out, can we actually use them? I love that. That's a really thought-provoking idea. Right. Like, what if brain faster than fingers is actually a superpower? Just got to figure out how to unlock it. I like the way you think. Okay. Okay. (laughs) I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get back to the thread. Back to the source. Because there's so much more to unpack. Definitely. You're right. And one thing you brought up before we started recording. Yeah. It's not always whole words getting jumbled, is it? It can get even weirder than that. Right. Like down to the individual letter level, which honestly to me is even more fascinating. It's true. So let's dive into those specifics when we come back. Let's do it. So with those individual letters, there was this one comment really stuck with me. Person said they often write the second letter of a word first. Really? Like their brain's so excited to get the thought out. It skips ahead. Hands just trying to follow. That's like trying to handwrite a note while you're on a roller coaster. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No wonder things get messy. Right. But here's something I find interesting about all this. We're talking about a thing that's kind of frustrating, right? Nobody likes typos, feeling like their thoughts are getting tangled. It can be a little jarring, yeah. But even with that, there's this humor in the thread. A little awe, even. Yeah. Like, wow, our brains are really doing their own thing, huh? Absolutely. There's this acknowledgement that, yeah, it can be disruptive, but it might also mean you've got a really active, fast-thinking mind. Right, right. And that's important to point out because it goes back to that whole diversity of how we think. What's a challenge for one person could be, like, totally tied into how their brain works best. Exactly. Makes you wonder, what if we could harness that brain speed? Like, could it be an advantage? Imagine if our fingers could keep up with those racing thoughts. Ooh, That'd be something. Right. We'd be typing out symphonies, code flying across the screen. That's a fascinating thought. And I don't know, a little bit of a challenge too, right? Oh. It makes us think, are we limiting ourselves with these old ways of writing, typing? Maybe some people, they're wired for a different pace and we're forcing them to slow down. It's like we've all agreed to communicate at the speed of like a horse-drawn carriage. Right. Exactly. But some of us, we've got Ferrari brains. Not saying we ditch grammar, embrace the chaos. Right. Right. But maybe... There are other ways to get those thoughts out there. You're hitting on something really important. What if, instead of error, we saw these moments as dot clues, little peeks into how different people process things? I like that. So instead of just backspacing, we hit pause and think, huh, what was my brain up to there? Could this be interesting? Exactly. Like a window into the creative subconscious. Okay, but real talk for a sec. Mm -hmm. For some folks... This isn't just an anecdote. It actually impacts their life. Oh, for sure. Work, self-esteem, the whole deal. You're absolutely right. And that's why we got to approach this with both curiosity, but also sensitivity. We don't want to turn normal brain differences into problems. But if someone's struggling, we got to acknowledge that. And there might be ways to help, resources to make things easier. Absolutely. And honestly, step one is probably just talking about it openly. Oh, 100%. Which, this Reddit thread, it does such a good job of that. Sometimes just knowing you're not the only one is huge. It's true. There's power in sharing. Even the stuff that feels weird or embarrassing at first. Right. That's how we realize we're all part of this like big, messy, awesome tapestry of how brains work. You said that beautifully. And it reminds me, someone in the thread, they said they wish there was a name for this. Oh, really? Yeah, this whole brain faster than fingers thing. I kind of love that. Me too. Sometimes just having the word for something makes it real. You know? <laughs> it's validating. It yeah. really is. Makes it less like you're making it up, right? Exactly. And hey, who knows? Maybe giving it a name is the first step to like, actually researching it, understanding it better. It's true. It's a way to say, this is a thing. It happens. And it's part of me. Own it. I am here for embracing those little quirks. Me too. Makes us who we are. Yeah. Right? But uh, until we do find that perfect term, I think this Reddit thread, it's our unofficial guidebook to the world of brains that just go faster than fingers can manage. I think that's a great way to put it. Right. And it kind of leaves us with a final thought for everyone listening. What if 
those typos, those little misspellings we make, yeah, they're actually like little messages from our subconscious telling us to embrace how our minds really work, the speed, the complexity, all of it. Ooh, I like that a lot. Hmm. Something to think about as we all go through our days trying to get those thoughts out into the world. Right. That dance between brain and fingertips, it's never over. Never over. Well, on that note, thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Until next time, keep those brains buzzing and those fingers nimble as best you can. Always a pleasure.